15th of May 2004, South Africa were awarded the 2010 World Cup. Following that announcement, the then President of South Africa, Thabo Mbeki, made the following statement. We want to ensure that one day historians will reflect upon the 2010 World Cup as a moment when Africa stood tall and resolutely turned the tide on centuries of poverty and conflict. Football is a way of getting ahead in life. You have to overcome the adversity of a tough life on the streets. And this is where the locals come to play and they get bought to play for a day or for one game by local businessmen. And they try to promote the best players in the area. As the world descends upon South Africa, we're heading out of South Africa into West Africa. And we're gonna travel through the continent during the tournament to see if football really can unite a continent. We're in Lagos, Nigeria, Africa's most densely populated city. We're in Douala, the commercial capital of Cameroon. When it comes to leading from the front, there is no doubt that Ghana is a leader in African football. We're here at the Carlton Center in the heart of Johannesburg City. Nelson Mandela said it would unite the continent. Is that the case? Will you support all the other African teams? All Africa is behind Africa. Each time an African team is playing, the rest of the African teams are right behind me. And that is how we have to do it all the way until we retain the trophy. There are 250 ethnic groups in Nigeria and 400 different dialects, yet football is the one thing that brings the country together. But uh, we just love the soccer and uh, they're very passionate about it and they're prepared to play in any space at all they can find and uh, it certainly helps, helps a touch because uh, there's a lot of talented football players here in Uganda. Cameroon, of course, has a rich history of football, having first qualified for the World Cup back in 1982. One of the things being set up to raise money and help the children here in Kibera, which is one of the largest informal settlements in Africa. It is 2.5 square kilometers, the same size as New York's Central Park, and is home to a million people. 32 teams, 64 games. The final is just around the corner. And will it be the perfect moment to wrap up Africa's first ever World Cup? Let's just wait and see.